What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Insert Coin. My name is Nick. And I'm Dave. And today we will be playing a uh, lesser known gem, I would say. Catherine? I think it was lesser known at some point. Maybe it still is, but I don't know. A so fucking great game. Also, now I heard a lot about this. We're going to start a new game. And, um, yeah, go we'll for normal. normal. You can do it. Uh, yeah. Thanks. All right. So. This game is about hot babes. Uh, I mean, they, they they put it right there. Grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. Yes, yeah, seriously. We really wouldn't even need to talk over this because of how wonderful this game is well, by itself. Yeah, but we don't want to do that for copyright reasons or whatever. Yeah, I mean, but we will talk over it. Because yeah, because fuck facts. you. That's what you're here for. You want to hear us talk. Well, and by I, you may not and want by to. you, I mean probably just Dave and myself who are watching this. Yeah, I'm gonna personally give all of these videos about 800 views i'm gonna personally give them a like and a shout out shout out to uh insert coin media <laughs> shout out to myself yeah weird all right for being so awesome i uh i haven't actually played this game before. i've played this game dave, this too is much dave's game dave loves this game i i, I mean, swear by this game if like anybody wants a recommendation for a game this is it it's got some hot anime babes and like what more do you want Right now, on my part, uh, Hubert's Lemonade is sponsoring this uh, video. Oh, yeah. I'm not drinking anything. Right now. Nick's not a fan of it's okay. the it's, Hubert's it's Lemonade. It's like fucking organic lemonade. Yo, check out that afro, though. Holy shit. That is it's glorious. Sparkles. She seems so friendly, too. I haven't. And it's weird that like the afro looks like 3D, but her face looks like it's 2D. Oh, anime. Oh, anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the story of my life. Oh, anime. The romantic horror. Oh, yeah, are we it, going to get spooped? This is it, this game is kind of spoopy. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. It, it's a survival horror game, actually. Oh, well, there's Vincent and his Italian stallion riding equipment jacket. I don't know if you caught that. I've seen it like two times now. So, but uh. Here's the thing is I my favorite look thing about like this that? is this is a I like to think it kind of look like what I kind of look like Vincent a little bit uh I guess a little, a little bit. on a good day Nick Nick on is a good day. really trying to relate to Vincent I, a lot he can especially <laughs> do that face <laughs> um but I like this for oh, being a blocks. survival horror. I get it that'll be funny blocks in his life that'll become <laughs> oh you can move it oh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> look um, at I can do that earthquake oh my god. So I like this game as a survival horror. I like type it because genre. I could do this. Because it's <laughs> it's not a survival horror in the way that most survival horrors are, and it does something different, and it does it well. Can I also? I can't do it. Okay, so here we go. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, Catherine. This is Catherine with a K. Catherine. That you're talking to. Yeah. Where'd you go? She is your girlfriend. Aren't they both spelled with the C? I think no, they're spelled this is exactly Catherine the same with a K, way. and the other one's Catherine with a C. Oh, is she? Sure. Yes. Okay. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing Everyone's going to be like, you look much? nothing like this guy. Sorry. I, I mean, you really don't look that much like I mean, look, I kind like, if I were an anime, I would look like that. If I were an anime. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and the soundtrack, though? And the soundtrack, though. Hang on. I'm going to be right back, actually. Ah, well, then I'll be holding the controller for now, and I guess we'll just sit through this intro scene. Um... I I don't thrive by myself. I I'm not very interesting to listen to. <laughs> I think I am now. Well, I guess I can just talk a little bit about my experience with this game. I don't remember if my brother or myself bought this and I but I do remember I I picked it up and I played it and I just couldn't put it down. The storytelling in this game is incredible, um, although the way that it's delivered is not favorable. There are a lot of cutscenes, which is a little bit upsetting. The art direction, as just noted, the person is great. Music, incredible. Um, and the choice thing, the morality thing, is kind of interesting. So. I might bring some of these points up again when Nick is around, but uh, up until then, I believe I will play through the tutorial until Nick gets back. 
So, all right, let's uh, let's have at it, I suppose. Oh man, Nick is back right when it starts. Oh, what hey. good timing! Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. All right, so what did I miss? Anything important? No, I I just explained how I'm not very funny by myself, and oh. I really I really have to work off of what you say. Yeah, you're significantly more interesting than I am. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but thanks. I'm actually gonna go this way. Oh yeah, because that really made a difference in the sense that it didn't at all. Shut up. All right, so Nick uh, did. I guess we should let you. To, to be fair, Nick did uh, play through the tutorial once just so he could learn how to play the game before we started recording. Um, also to speed it along just a little bit. Pillows are retries. Gold is good for I forget why I think you can just buy drinks score. and stuff, right? You can buy drinks, but and when that part comes in, you'll actually notice down at the bottom you've got a little drink meter thing, and you can only have three drinks in a night. You get your first one automatically. Wow, what a little bitch! <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> and uh, so you get them automatically the first one. And then you can can choose other two, and they give you facts about the drinks. That you're gonna say faffs? Yeah, they give you faffs. Get the coins. I'm going to. Um, so, but I guess if you don't buy the drinks, something specific happens. But if you do buy the drinks, you actually move faster in your dreamland, which is what this is. So wait, the less drinks you have? The less drinks you have, the sl like the more normal you are. But and I think it has a good effect for some other reason. Pull that one, yeah. Now push it to your right, okay. just so you can get those the coins. coinage. Yeah. Cha -ching. Now go back down and go over. There right. you go. Um. Oh shit! Everything's falling away. Nope, that's not what I want to do. So, so yeah, like, but if you have three drinks, you move faster inside okay. of your dream world. So there's no reason to not drink. Is that what the game is saying? There is a reason, but I forget what it is, honestly. Well, and why wouldn't you drink? Because you get to learn different interesting facts about whatever drink you order. Obviously, when you're over 21. Obviously. Uh, no! Yeah. Oh, I thought I lost no, you this. Can just I'm going to do this just to make sure I can get to them. Sweet. Good job. Thanks, man. Good choice. Good choice. Good work. Oops. Go. Come on. I'm trying. Go. Stop. Go. The game is already Go. pressuring me enough. <laughs> ding, ding, All right. ding. So I'm almost at the top. Yes, you are. Hey, wait a second. Maybe you didn't use any retries. Because I'm fucking good. Duh. Yeah, sure. I can't do those. No, you cannot. You have to go that way. Yeah. Right. And I remember just... this. And of course, as you go through the game, they, it gets progressively harder. Really? Yes. Damn it. So the puzzles get harder to navigate, uh, but you do get tips on how to to navigate better. Right. All so right. this game is really a learning experience through and through. The tutorial is never really over. Right. Which is good. That's good game design. Yeah. And it like holy it, it shit. Right. There you go. There's a little bit of the spoop right there. Oh shit. That's what I said. Great yeah. escape. You survived. Great. Oh wow. Wow. Look at safety bonus. All those um, coinages. Yeah, and then difficulty Ooh, bonus. Plus difficulty bonus. You might get a no retry bonus, but maybe Ooh, not. Oh, I got the silver. Ah, uh, I only got a silver. Ah, faff. Well, I'll just pause it. Whoa, okay, you can pause the game. Yeah. Let's just pause the game. Eh, uh, yeah. Nah. Right. Uh, uh, let's just go through it. This is, this is a good... I like this. This is a good story. Uh, I like how this is all framed as a TV show with the Golden Playhouse. Whoa, whoa! Yeah. Hey, I'm going to abuse the shit out of that. $80,000 for space tourism. <laughs> this is nice. I, I, I think when I was uh, alone, I talked about how I loved the art direction, the music. Uh, I don't love that the story is delivered mostly through cutscene, but... I do like the uh, choice Whoa. dynamics. Also, this game is apparently really adult. Yes, it is a very adult game. Ew. It's not AO, but... No, it's bordering. Thank God I don't have any sheets on my bed. Otherwise, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look at that. 
sick phone ring. Uh, nice hello? flip phone. What is this? Two thousand two. Yeah, well, I mean, I I had a I had a flip phone until about two years ago. So, fuck you. Wow, welcome to the twenty first century, dude. Thanks. Oh, please walk out without pants on. <laughs> and without changing your underwear. What are you doing? Gross. That's his bathroom. Oh, well, still. <laughs> Who puts a shirt on to go to the bathroom? What is this? This game's I, unrealistic. All right. I do. I think, uh... All right. Yeah, I think we'll, uh... Just call it a day call right it, now. Yeah, call well. it here, and we will see you next time when Catherine starts uh, bitching at you. So are you getting anything extra for this?